Welcome back to the Gnome Show After Dark, ladies and gentlemen. I am Josh, your humble host, and um, tonight I'm doing a spotlight <coughs> on Anomaly. He's a creator on YouTube. Um, go over to his channel and show him some love. And he's got another channel, um, Anomaly Aesthetics, so uh, go check that one out as well. I will at some point. But tonight, we have 1999 tunnels. Let's find out what's going on. Oh shit. With the devastating earthquake of 1999, Major cities in western Turkey were left devastated. Thousands of people died under the rubble, and large structures suffered considerable damage. That's in Istanbul, a gas leak caused a massive explosion at one of yep. the metro stations. Fortunately, no injuries were reported, but the blast caused serious structural damage. The explosion brought down the walls of one of the train workshops, revealing a completely unknown area that seemingly represented an alternative section to the main line that was never completed. To the surprise of everyone, the area was extremely vast, much larger than traditional metro stations, and the extending tunnels had an incomprehensible height. Wow. Engineers, architects, and archaeologists who were involved in the construction of the metro in 1989 stated that they never envisioned any other excavations, and the explosion uncovered an entirely unexplored and unknown area for all experts. Probably Several meters most into experts, this deep sure area, multiple entrances of what appeared to be a complex of corridors similar to existing subway stations were found. The corridors were filled with humidity, rusty metal, and the rails partially submerged in groundwater. When the news reached the public, many residents of Istanbul did not find this discovery so far-fetched. They claimed to have been hearing underground noises for years, similar to the ones produced by trains. What the These fuck? noises were never explained by the municipality or authorities. What is it, like the monster train or something? After several hours of exploration, rescue teams and the police discovered connections to enormous cisterns and sewers in these tunnels, which were also not documented in modern Istanbul's planning records. From this point, the underground complex transformed into a true maze of corridors that seemed to lead to the same points repeatedly. Some explorers found themselves lost for several minutes, as they reported. They believed they encountered other team members, even though this was never the case. Days later, when they managed to map out some of the tunnels, they noticed that one of the tunnels, which still had rails, had not been fully explored. This path was so extensive that they speculated it might even pass beneath the Bosphorus Strait. Venturing what? at least four kilometers inside, they came across small carts filled with what appeared to be human flesh. These remain- I'm sorry, what? That- So, a little bit of midnight meat train, maybe? I, uh, the flesh that hates? Um, mama's hungry? The earth hungers? Baby needs food? Things were strangely fresh, as if they were only Str a few days old. Strangely fresh, Searching what by the, fuck? the smell. They couldn't have been decomposing for more than a day or two. It was- What the fuck is that? 
What the fuck? Bro, this is not, uh, this is, uh, mm, this is disturbing. It's all very surreal. Yes, very surreal. Continuing through the intricate tunnels, more segments appeared, That's completely rust and covered blood. in masses and reddish liquids resembling blood. There was no further information about <laughs> what these substances were, but they appeared to be relatively organic, some pulsated and reacted with a slight tremor when touched by the explorers. Oh, that's gross. That's so gross. Finally, they came across what seemed to be a train repair station. The network of tunnels abruptly ended in this section, where several abandoned carriages lay derailed and partially engulfed by this viscous substance. Ew. At times, it smelled like burnt plastic, although other explorers believed the stench was unmistakably that of rotting flesh. <laughs> when they decided to leave the tunnels, the explorers noticed that fungus had started to grow rapidly on their boots in a strangely swift manner. Oh no. We're not getting out alive. Now, this strange frame was found in a video captured by one of the explorers inside one of the dozens of tunnels. Oh, what the fuck? Well, we found out what them tunnels was about. What the fuck? All right, guys. Um, yeah. Um, wow. So that was a spotlight on um, uh, Anomaly. Uh, this guy right here. Um, go check him out. Um, give him all your support. Uh, very real, uh, weird, and... Uh, real? Not. Uh, very uh, weird and original stuff. Um, and there's more to come. He's got um, uh, brand new stuff uh, coming up um, on the 9th and the 11th um and there's still something like there's this one right here this one's brand new but i think i'll come back to that one um he's got tons of stuff for you guys to look at the eyes of everest what the fuck okay uh, i'm gonna have to look at that one that's uh you know what um i'm intrigued uh the forest punishes what the hell okay Church of Corey. Oh, what the f The Horror of Mars. Um, a Pervert Mission. Oh, God. And the Depths of Iceland. <coughs> <coughs> the Horror behind, Beyond Neptune. I still want to see this one. Let's. That's. This is the last one. Let's see what time is it. It's, oh, oh, okay. It's still early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's watch another one. Uh, but um, uh, that's uh, for the next time I see you. Um, sound off in the comments. Like, subscribe, and share. Um, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. But yeah, eyes of for the eyes of Everest. <laughs> yes.